in this lesson we will study about uh, characters in rust so these are a data type uh, which helps to represent single characters and this can be a letter a number or it can be much more than a letter or a number in languages like c++ we can only represent letters numbers or any single characters but here we can even represent emojis and many other characters because these are unicode scalar values and these are four bytes in size and not just one byte like in languages like c++ and uh, these are written within single quotes this is very similar to other languages so you see single quotes and then the character similarly if we write a character uh, 2 we write it like this and the point to note is that this character 2 is different from the number 2 you cannot perform arithmetic operations like addition subtraction these cannot be applied on these or uh, like integers and floats so let's see an example so i have listed a few characters here we will see it in action in our uh, visual studio code so we have a few characters and we try to print that so we have uh, here character 2 then a then some unicode value which we don't know what it will print so let's see it in our visual studio code and let's see what it will print hopefully it will print some emoji which you are already familiar with so let's see there so i have created a new project and named it characters and this is the main.rs file so let's define a few characters c1 let's uh, it's a simple uh, number 2 c2 is another character which is uh, a letter this time so in languages like c++ where uh, characters are of just one byte you can only represent simple numbers like these but in Rust, these are Unicode and 4 bytes in long. So you will now see that we can represent much more than that. So we will write backslash U. And then within curly braces, let's write some number. Let's write 263A or B as per your choice. You can try with different values some of these symbols may be familiar to you for example some emoji and now we will print those so c1 equal to c2 equal to we are creating placeholders and make sure the count matches so we have three placeholders so we will provide c1 c2 c3 and then we will run it so this is not looking something familiar let's try cargo run from here instead of running from there now it looks like a smiley you can notice that what if it's uh, a it's still a smiley think it was not saved now it's a different smiley this is a solid uh, shaded smiley this is lighter one let's change and play with it at uh, this time it's some other value so you see it's much more powerful than uh, simple characters like in languages like uh, Java and C++, C++. so you can it's a, it's fun to play with these values and see whether it's printed here or not. So that's all for characters. See you in the next video.